hello everyone welcome back today in this video i'm going to explain that how you can install the react js in the laravel using wait configuration so basically we are going to install the laravel breeze and we are going to configure with the react uh, we are going to configure with the wait configuration so in the previous video i explained that uh, how you can install the react js with the laravel with the wait configuration and today in this video i'm going to explain that how you can uh, how you can uh, install the breeze with the uh, wheat okay so breeze is a basically uh, laravel starter kit so let's uh, click on this uh, laravel breeze so first we are going to install the laravel breeze and then we are going to move further so here we need to first uh, create a project and here i have created a new fresh installation of laravel and i named this breeze with uh, breeze with react and laravel with white wheat not white okay and then i switch to this directory and here we need to install the breeze first okay so let's uh, copy the breeze uh, composer command so this one is a composer command for the breeze installation so let's go here and paste this out here paste and hit enter okay so our breeze is installing successfully and it's almost done so you can install this uh, using this composer require laravel dev okay and then you need to install the breeze but we want to install this breeze into the our we want to install the react uh, we want to install this uh, breeze into the react application that's why we want to also create the react okay so this command is used for installing the react so let's go here uh, let me go to the terminal and yes our breeze installation is successfully installed okay so paste this command and oops it says oh i need to copy it properly let's go here and paste this out and hit enter and it will uh, install it uh, very quickly and then you need to run npm install for node modules and then you need to run npm run dev for the um, development so we are going to basically compile these files okay okay it's so uh, installing the installing the react okay and if you are not familiar with my series so basically i am shooting full series wheat in the wheat with the laravel where i'm first installing the bootstrap then i'm installing the vue.js and then i'm installing the let me go to the project and then i'm installing the wheat with the vue.js and laravel and then i have installed this wheat with the breeze okay uh, with the vue.js and then i have installed this uh, wheat with the react and laravel and now i'm shooting this breeze with react and uh, laravel with wheat configuration so this is full series and um, i will upload uh, one video daily and you will get notified about this so please also share your feedback on this how how you like this series mm, how you like this tutorial okay and this one is completed scuff folding is completed so let's go back and here you need to run npm install so just type npm install okay it will install install the node module into our project okay so now npm is installed successfully so now we need to run this npm run dev so it will compile our uh, files in development like npm run watch and we are using this in the laravel mix and let's go to the project this one is our project and here we need to run this uh, one more terminal for running our php artisan server so basically we are going to open our application into the uh, localhost 8000 okay php artisan serve hit enter so it's going to run the local host uh, our application on the local host 8000 so now let's go here and open this out here local host 8000 and our all of the steps are done so we don't need to migrate this because we are shooting this for the demonstration purposes so if you are doing this for your projects you can do this okay and let's go here and let me check that okay our server is started so let's get refresh and why i did not close this out because it's compiling our files at the runtime whenever we saved anything into our project into the blade or config files it will reload this web browser automatically and reload uh, uh, compile uh, recompile our files 
and if you want to uh, if your application is completed and you want to deploy on the server so then you need to make the build file and then you don't need to run this npm run dev then you need to run the npm run build and this will build your all of the files into the public slash build directory and then load all of your files uh, through this build directory so this one is used for building your files uh, building your assets and yes now our application is running so let's click on this login so it's contain the login view and then, then click on this register and yes it's containing the breeze uh, default authentication so let's click on this register and uh, yes it's opening the register one so now your question arises that uh, how you sure that it's loading through this uh, wait so now let's clear right click on this and open this uh, view page source or press control plus u so it will open this uh, your code into the new tab and you can verify that it's loading through this wheat okay so you can check that wheat client here it's a plate directive and it's loading your all of the files right here it's opening this app.jsx so let's uh, go here and uh, in the previous video we learned that how we can uh, create this jsx files and how to create the another files uh, how to render other components into this one and we learn everything so if you don't know how to play around with this react app so you can watch my previous video where i completely explain this so this gsx is loading everything here and if you want to load some more files so you can go here go to this uh, css directory you want to apply some styles on it so you can create files here and then you need to import them at the top like uh, this and uh, in this case like uh, we have this uh, name so let me change this uh, username okay so how you can do this so let's uh, no i'm going to apply the style on it so let's go here and uh, create a new file so uh, basically i have uh, shooted this in the previous video so you can check my video but i'm doing this here okay and then i need to add this like we are adding this scs okay let me add the functionality here so i'm going to add this uh, uh, adding okay and i'm going to assign a color of uh, red save this one and now let's uh, go back go to this app.jsx and here you need to import this file so import okay and then you need to add this uh, like uh, uh, one step back and then you need to call this uh, CSS and then you need to call this test dot CSS uh, Save this one and then you need to go to your uh, You can go any of your plate files because it's mentioned here that anything in the pages directory will be Automatically affected when you uh, save anything it will be automatically reloaded. So now let's close this out go to this uh, pages and in the pages we have authentication and in the authentication i have opened this uh, register oh i have opened this register so now let's register and in the register i'm going to uh, i'm going to apply this id so let's uh, go here let's go down 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 so where is this one is a label name right so here i want to apply this id so let's call this id what's the id so this would be a heading right so save this one and it will be automatically refresh this web browser okay it still did not refreshed why again okay, let me refresh it manually and then we will check that why it's not refreshing this out okay i have refreshed this out and uh, let's take eye on this and still this color is not applying on this one why let me check this out here i have added this heading okay guys i figure out that it's working but it's not displaying us so if i go here and uh, i don't know why it's not applying on this label so let me cut this out from there and i'm going to add this on the form so let's uh, add this id here and uh, here this color would be red so it's going to change the color but uh, it's not uh, yes it's changed this color and if you want to change the background color then apply this uh, on the background okay background and then you need to this background and refresh you don't need to refresh and yes it's uh, instantly added here and if i go here and add this uh, 
green save this one and it will be automatically refreshed and yes this green is applied on this one so in this way you can you can apply the colors you can apply the different properties through the external files so you need to render all of uh, you need to add your all of the file css and js files here and you can uh, this, these will be automatically compiled you need to just add them into the app.js file so you don't need to add them into your uh, into your views file or you in, into your uh, into your uh, vue.js or react.js file so if you like this video please share your feedback on this uh, video and if you want to learn more about the laravel there are uh, 25 plus playlist on this youtube channel and i am uploading the different uh, uh, laravel tips and tricks uh, at uh, daily at 11 am so you can uh, according to the gmt5 zone so stay connected and subscribe to the youtube channel